Hi, and welcome back to the Vagrant from Scratch course. In this video, we're going to explore how you can easily connect to a Vagrant virtual machine through PuTTY on Windows. PuTTY is an SSH client which you can use on Windows as an alternative to OpenSSH. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is make sure that we have PuTTY installed. Head on over to PuTTY.org and click on the link to download PuTTY. There you will be redirected to the download page and on the download page, select the installer that matches your version of Windows. For me, that is the 64-bit installer. Once you've downloaded it, run the installer, clicking OK to any of the prompts which appear. We will go with the defaults for the installation, including the default location of where PuTTY will be installed, which is C, Program Files, PuTTY. The first thing you need to do to get a Vagrant VM up and running is to make sure you have a Vagrant file which contains a valid configuration for a virtual machine. We can go ahead and create a default one by using the Vagrant init command. We cover the contents of the Vagrant file in another video on the course. For now, we can just ignore what's inside of it. Our goal with this video is just to demonstrate how to connect to a virtual machine using PuTTY. With a valid Vagrant file, we can issue the command Vagrant status to see that the virtual machine has not yet been created. We can then run the command Vagrant up to get Vagrant to spin up the virtual machine. If we run the Vagrant status command again, we can see that the virtual machine is now running. We can also see that the name given to the virtual machine is simply default. Once you start up the virtual machine for the first time using Vagrant, Vagrant will create a directory called dot Vagrant. If we follow through all of the directories within that, choosing the path that contains the name of the VM, default, and the provider, VirtualBox, we can see a whole bunch of files. For this video, we're only really concerned with the file named private underscore key. This file is the open SSH key needed to log into the machine. Unfortunately, this is not compatible with PuTTY, so we need to create a key that is compatible. To do that, we need to navigate to the directory in which PuTTY was installed, which for us was C, Program Files, PuTTY, and choose to open the PuTTY Gen program. From there, we can choose to load a key and then navigate to the location of the private underscore key file. Here, we need to change the option so that all files are shown instead of just those recognized by PuTTY, and then we can open the private underscore key file. You can press OK on the dialog that pops up. It is just a notice, not an error. Make sure that the type of key to generate is selected as RSA and that the number of bits is set to 2048. This should be the default anyway, so you shouldn't have to do anything. Once that is done, choose to save the private key. There is no need to save it with a password, so just click Yes on the next dialog box. You can then choose to save the file with whatever name you would like. I'm going to choose to save it as putty underscore private underscore key. You will notice that it is going to save it as a PPK file, which can be used by PuTTY. Once that is done, you can then close PuTTY Gen because we won't need it anymore. With our private key created in a format that PuTTY can use, we can go ahead and open the PuTTY program. Now we need a whole bunch of details to be able to connect to the running virtual machine. In order to get these details, open up a command prompt which is in the directory which contains the Vagrant file. From here, issue the command vagrant ssh config. Now we have the details we need to connect. Enter the hostname into the hostname field, which in this case is the IP address of 127.0.0.1, and choose port 2222. Of course, the connection type should be chosen to be SSH. Now from within PuTTY, choose to click on Data, which is under the Connection drop down. Under Auto Login Username, put the username Vagrant. Finally, under Connection, SSH, Auth, choose to browse for the private key file for authentication. From there, navigate to where we saved the PuTTY private key and click OK. At this point, you have entered everything you need to connect. To prevent having to enter it all again, we can navigate to the Session screen, input a name in the Saved Session box, let's just call this Vagrant VM, and click Save. Now, whenever you open PuTTY, you can just choose to load that session and avoid having to re-enter all of these details. If we click OK, and then also click OK on the prompt, 
we can see that we have opened an SSH shell as the user Vagrant on the virtual machine. There you have it. You now know how you can connect to your Vagrant virtual machines using PuTTY. To carry on learning even more about Vagrant, watch the next video in the course. Be sure to subscribe and even check out some of the other videos available on my channel.